any month and 10 awesome apps curated just for you. Let's get started. Did you ever want to communicate with a loved one rather than just messaging them? Well, then the next app might be just for you. Meet with Widget Share. Widget Share is a relatively simple app that lets you share an image or a picture with anyone. First, you add the person that you want to share the widget with as a friend. Then, put the widget on your home screen. There are multiple different frame options to choose from. After that, whenever you or the other person shares a picture with you from the app, it will automatically get displayed on your widget. A pretty cute and also a really intimate way to stay connected with a friend or loved one. Using gestures to perform certain actions on your phone can be pretty handy. Maybe you don't want to touch your screen or maybe it's just more convenient for you. Our next app is a pretty damn good custom gesture app. I'm talking about micro gestures. All you have to do to create a gesture is to press the plus button, then choose which axis you want to be triggered with. App also has illustrations for each of them, so you know exactly which direction are the gestures work. You can also choose it to be activated only in one direction rather than both. Then you need to choose the amount of repetition for it to activate, either single or double. Then choose an action to perform and that's it. And after that, you now have a new gesture to do whatever you want. Take a screenshot, open the notification menu or the recent menu. The possibilities are almost endless. What about a pretty versatile utility app? Meet with CurioMate. First of all, the app has a beautiful and clean design. Also, the developer has plans to add full mono theming in the future which is always a bonus in my book. The app consists of a huge variety of different utilities to help you. Some of my favorites are PDF tools which lets you merge, split or compress PDFs really fast. Image Resizer, which is a pretty versatile image editing tool, Trivia Generator, and PDF Invoice Generator. Of course, there are a lot more tools than these. You can also put some tools to your favorite to access them easily. Normally, the app is paid, but the developer of the app, App Code Craft, was generous enough to share 50 promo codes with me so that I can give it to you. All you have to do is to click the link in the description and fill the form. The first 50 will get the codes. As a pretty forgetful person, I always use reminders or alarms to remember certain things, but sometimes you just dismiss the notification or simply don't hear it. With Remind Me, it will be much harder for you to do that. What makes this reminder app unique and different is that it calls you rather than sending a simple notification. All you have to do is to record yourself a message, then select a date and time and that's it. When it's time, the app will call you and remind you of your own message. It can also come into clutch when you want to leave a place and need an excuse. Just create yourself a reminder and your phone will actually ring and someone will talk to you. Pretty neat app, so I highly suggest you give it a try. Our next app is a bit simple, but can be also really useful. Meet with Pixel Search. For a while, Pixel phones have a universal search on their interface to search apps, web, Play Store and many more. But not every Android skin has a universal search function. Most of them only support just simple app search. With Pixel Search, you can get the exact functionality on any Android phone. The app has a beautiful design and supports modern theming. The app supports searching from the web, YouTube, Maps, Play Store, X, and Spotify. It also has a custom search widget, so you don't have to open it every time that you want to search something. Like I said, simple, but pretty useful. Nowadays, AI content is everywhere and sometimes they are so good that it is really hard to distinguish between them and the real content. Fake Out is an app that will solve that problem. Simply write the text that you want to check or upload the image and press search. The app will give you a score out of 100 that shows the likelihood of your content being AI generated or not. It worked flawlessly on everything that I have tested and instantly become a must have for me. Therefore, I highly suggest you give it a try. Our next app is a pretty useful utility app for the ones who use Instagram. Meet with Instarchive. Instarchive is an app that lets you save and download an Instagram post. All you have to do is to click the share button on the post that you want to save, then select Instarchive and press archive. Now you can see the post on your app and you can easily see the details of the post and also download it. So overall, a pretty powerful app if you're not using a modern Instagram client. I like Spotify, but to be honest, its recommendation algorithm is pretty atrocious. So I found Musing. Musing is an app that can show you your Spotify stats, but can also recommend you new songs. 
Just swipe right for the songs that you like and swipe left for the ones that you don't. Music will automatically add the songs that you like to your playlist so you can easily find them inside Spotify. I quite like the algorithm on this app and definitely recommend if you are using Spotify. Okay, for our last app, I have also chosen another utility app. Meet with Data Monitor. Data Monitor is an all-in-one place for every network-related feature for your phone. You can see how much data you have used both on cellular and on Wi-Fi. Also, you can go one step further and see which apps used how much data. The app also has a pretty nice widget so you don't have to open the app to see your stats. You can also set up the app so that it sends you a warning once you reach a certain limit and it can also show you the live data usage. Pretty cool for the ones who like to see live network traffic but using an Android skin that does not support it. And with that, we came to the end of this list. If you have any suggestions for the future, just let me know down in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. It genuinely helps me. And as always, take care.